Hey everybody, it's Bunny. Even though I feel like I should say, hey everybody, it's Sideshow Bob, because <gasps> what is this hair? Is it Pantene that always does like the swish commercials? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't watch like normal TV anymore, so I like have no idea what commercials even are. I saw this thing floating around pretty heavily on Twitter yesterday. You guys have to let me know exactly how viral did this go. Did you see this popping up anywhere on your timeline? I saw a ton of people on my feed yesterday, although maybe it is because I do follow quite a few creepy people on Twitter, but you probably know what I mean. Like people that are horror narrators here on YouTube or people that are into creepy things, ghost things, and all of that jazz. So maybe that's why I was seeing it a lot. And a lot of you guys tagged me in this post as well, asking me what I could see, what I thought about it, etc, etc. So I thought, hey, I would look into it just a little bit and we would talk about it together in a video today. It sort of reminded me of 2015 when we all saw the dress. Do you guys remember that? And I remember people getting into angry, angry debates about whether the dress was blue and black or gold and white. I, I don't even want to open that can of worms again, but I literally cannot see this dress as white and gold, even though I think that it has since come out. Like, do you guys remember when this happened and like tons of huge news media outlets were following this story and like trying to get down to the actual fact of if the dress was blue and black or white and gold. And I think that it was proven to actually be white and gold in real life. I cannot see white and gold in this thing. I absolutely cannot. And then I feel like there was like a deeper vein going on about that whole dress where it was like supposedly if you saw black and blue, it meant you were depressed. Anyway, so we had the dress in 2015. And then in 2018, we had Yanny and Laurel. And now that one I can hear either Yanny or Laurel, depending on what word I'm listening for. But anyway, 2020, you guys, they tried to come through with the ghost baby. Basically, what it is, is it is two nearly identical pictures. One picture shows a empty window, like there's no visible figure in the window. And then the other photo is a picture where like very clearly to me, there is a baby in the window. How I saw it most commonly being posted is like two pictures in one tweet, like a left picture and a right picture. And there were some people literally saying that they could not see a baby at all. So that's why I brought up the whole dress thing is because people were originally saying that like, oh, if you can't see a baby, then that means you do not have any ability to see paranormal things. But if you can see the baby, well then you have a paranormal brain and you're blessed and gifted to see the dead. I at first literally did not know if people were just trolling because there were so many people saying I can't see the baby and I'm like how can you not see the baby there is very clearly a baby and so I kept trying to dig up more information about where this post came from I just want to get you guys's input at home do you guys think that this is fact or fiction do you guys think people are just trolling or that it's a real ghost baby because I'm about to reveal to you in three two one people are trolling. So I found out that this post originated on Reddit and apparently what was happening was the original poster of this thread was going through and manipulating the post and they had two photos. And so they were switching it. I think people were saying like every 30 minutes or so. So the post was spreading pretty quickly and then the original poster was going back and they had one photo with no baby in the photo and one photo with the baby in it. So as this post was gaining more and more traction and people were, you know, sending the link along to their friends, their friends would go and see a picture and see this picture and be like, no, I don't see a baby. What are you talking about? And then some people would see this picture and be like, oh my God, there's a ghost baby. So I tried to dig in and do extra research because I'm not gonna lie. Like I really don't know anything about photos Photoshop, honestly, or Facetune or anything. And so some people are able to say like, wow, I can tell that is like bad Photoshop, but I couldn't tell that it was Photoshop truthfully. So I think that the real picture is the picture with the baby in it. And I was trying to figure out if 
that photo was actually paranormal in some nature. Like if people did capture like an eerie child in a window sort of situation. I tried to do like some research on the actual photograph. Why did I just say photograph like that? But I couldn't find any information on the picture. I couldn't find out like where it was taken, when it was taken, what the original photo looked like. So if you guys have any more information on that, leave it in a comment down below. Moving on to another ghost baby photo situation that I think is just hilarious. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. There was a photo that went viral, I think around Halloween last year, which makes me wonder if the original poster of this photo was in on it as well. Cause like, how perfect is it literally to have ghostly spooky content in October, like 12 days before Halloween. There was this photo that was posted to some sort of mommy blog on Facebook. And this lady was like, oh my God, do you guys see this ghost baby in my son's crib? And I will admit, I saw this photo, I remember seeing it like kind of before this blew up as well. So you guys have to let me know if y'all have ever heard of this story before or not. But I saw this photo and I was like, oh my God, that is kind of creepy because they had like a night vision camera on their baby, which I don't know anything about babies, but like how common is that to have a night vision camera on your baby? Cause just look at the terrifying kind of images that you get from that. Look, have you guys seen this photo? Terrifying. There's nothing wrong with this baby. It's just a night vision camera baby. Anyway, uh, mommy blog, photo post, this picture, it's like of her child sleeping. So it's like a baby sleeping in a crib huh? and they have like a blanket like, and this could not, like, this is why I'm like, you know what? Is this a purposeful hoax? Are you trying to get likes on your mommy blog? Like the way that this kid is sleeping and the way that the blanket is like over this ghost baby, too good to be true. Do you know what I'm saying? You couldn't, you couldn't plan this out better. And so the mom was like so freaked out, but her kid was sleeping peacefully. So she didn't go in there in the middle of the night and see what's up, which I'm like, you what? Like you literally, you think, you think a whole, a whole ghost baby is sleeping with your live baby. And you don't even go in there in the middle of the night and be like, hmm, what's going on? She goes in the next day after a kid wakes up and she looks in the crib and it's the, there's like a picture, you know how like mattresses have labels? So I guess this particular baby mattress label had a picture of a baby on it and the husband forgot to put the mattress pad cover on the mattress. And so the sheet had like come off where the photo of the baby label the baby, the baby photo label on the baby mattress, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, and so literally it was just like a picture of a baby, but how perfect does that placement look? Seriously? The last thing that I wanted to see if you guys have ever heard of, well, maybe this isn't the last thing, but I don't know for whatever reason. Well, I decided I want to make a whole video about ghost babies today. Who does that? Graveyard girl. Anyway, have you guys ever heard about the ghost child? Oh my God, I've got like a, I have like a filament and it's stuck on my eyelash. Do you guys ever have that where there's like, I don't know, like a little hair or a little fuzz and it's like on your eyelash and you just see like transparent fuzz every time you blink? Does that statement make any sense at all? And this kind of stuff fascinates me so much. So if you guys have any other stories like this that you would like for me to research and maybe bring to you guys, uh, are like ghost sightings or even creepy things that occur in movies that maybe like nobody noticed until we at least got into the VHS. I almost said VCR. No, that's the right thing too. You play a VHS on a VCR, but you know, it's like, I was just thinking about this with Dogman the other day. It's like, how crazy must it have been where like, if you didn't go see a movie at a movie theater, you just like, what didn't, you didn't see it? Like what did people do before at least the VHS era? That just seems bleak. I can't imagine just not being able to like click and be like, yes, thank you, Netflix. That's exactly what I wanted to, blah, 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 blah. that's exactly what I wanted to watch today. Um, anyway, so I feel like a lot of these creepy stories started popping up once everybody got like VCR players and you could just watch movies and pause movies and you would watch maybe the same movie 800 times if you're me and you're watching the burbs. 
can't tell you guys how many times I've seen that movie. I could probably like quote it the whole way through. So you start to notice like weird little things, bloopers, whatever in these movies that you pause and watch really closely. And so Three Men and a Baby, the Tom Selleck movie, and I guess also Ted Danson. And who's the third man? Who's the baby? There is a story that has been going around of the ghost kid in the scene of Three Men and a Baby. I don't know exactly what scene it is because, hey, let's be honest, I haven't seen that movie in probably like 20 years, but it does look super creepy. It looks like behind these curtains, there is this kid who looks to be about like eight or nine, and he looks like he's just literally staring into your soul. And so supposedly the story was that there was a young boy who had passed away, and I don't even want to repeat what I read because it was truly gruesome the way that this little boy had supposedly passed away in this house and then the house was supposedly purchased by like I don't know a studio Paramount or something can I just can I just pull Paramount out of my brain okay now I have to google that I just have to google it <sighs> also while I breathe do you guys ever get a stitch in your side like where it's like a sharp pain every time you breathe and you're like hey um that can't be good three men and a baby who did this film? This was directed by Leonard Nimoy, Mr. Freaking Spock. That is the most random I've ever heard. Also, who is Steve Gutenberg? I feel bad that I don't readily know who the hell that is, but that's the third man, just in case you were curious. Good old 1987, I was a baby myself. Touch tone pictures, so not Paramount. Sorry, sorry, touch tone pictures. Supposedly the story was that this production company bought this house. They didn't know the history of the house. They started filming Three Men and a Baby and bam, Ghost Boy watching you work scene by scene. Can you imagine how disturbed Tom Selleck would be if that were true? I thought that this was kind of funny because it has blown up so big that I think Tom Selleck actually ended up doing an interview on one of those late night talk shows. Uh, and they actually asked him, they were like, hey, do you know about that? You know about that ghost kid? Do you guys think this is real or fake? It is obviously fake. I'm sure you guys can see from the pictures that I've put in. It's actually a cardboard cutout of Ted Danson. And I don't, I guess they must have like cut it off at ankle length. Cause it's way too short to be Ted Danson. How tall is Ted Danson? He's kind of one of those people that just rubs me the wrong way, but maybe that's because I have pledged allegiance to Larry David. And I feel like Ted Danson has fictitiously wronged Larry David <laughs> and so um I'm just irritated for fictitious reasons so anyway uh yeah it's a cardboard cutout which the first couple of times like the first couple scenes or stills I saw I was like that is so creepy but then you the more you look at it it literally just you can plainly tell it's Ted Danson it's Ted Danson in a top hat probably the scariest thing movie thing that I know, which I have heard people swear, absolutely swear that it is real, and some people swear that it is fake, is the thing in The Wizard of Oz. And I will, I'll tweet the link, because I know probably if I go any further than saying The Wizard of Oz, um, uh, YouTube will just Thanos snap my demonetization. It's also very disturbing. Do you guys ever do this? It's like late at night and I'm like, you know what I'm gonna start doing? Researching haunted and horrible occurrences. Fun. This was kind of three things that seemed like they could be spooky, but in actuality are not spooky at all. Or let me know if you guys are spooked out. I honestly think that the baby in the window picture is kind of creepy. Just on its own with no context, even if we weren't trying to make something bigger out of it than it is. Maybe it didn't completely make the rounds of the internet. So maybe this was something new for you guys to see today. Other than that, I wanted to give you guys a couple quick spooky updates. I am working on a couple, actually three, kind of like creepier videos that are kind of like bigger projects. So they're taking me a while to like get all the research, but I thought I'd give you guys a sneak peek. A, I am still making the Robert video that I told you guys about a couple of weeks ago. I'm just like doing, I'm doing, I really, I wanna really like go A and E with this stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like editing, facts. Then I'm working on another one about a poltergeist and actually a haunted 
antique piece of furniture slash poltergeist. Can we call it a poltergeist? My research will tell me in the end. And then the last one, you guys, I'm very excited about, and I already went to this place. There is an abandoned mystery mansion that is literally not far from me at all. I got a lot of like actual footage of this place and uh, I'm trying, it's like, like I just said, it's an abandoned mystery mansion. So there is a lot of mystery involved, but I'm doing my best to dig and dig and dig and dig and uh, try and find like some actual information about this property. But I thought it would be a lot of fun and I cannot wait for you guys to see my next like spooky kind of video. I'm trying to think like, do we want to pick a day? No, we don't. No, we don't. Cause I'm never going to be able to stick to a certain day, like an uploading schedule. What is that? I've never been able, I won't say never. Cause I think at some points in my life, I was consistently able to actually upload things like a first impression Friday on Friday. And I think originally we were doing, does this thing really works on Saturdays, but I have not had a consistent uploading schedule in years. So I don't know, I was like kind of trying to think of a cute little name that we could come up with for my spooky content and maybe we could put it out on Wednesdays or Mondays, I don't know. It's just gonna happen when it happens. And then that way I can be free with no restrictions to constantly mess up and miss days and then be like, oh, it's a, it's a first impression Saturday. And my final parting note is there is a groovy wobble bubble. And I know we haven't tested anything wobble in years, but you guys, I am tempted. I am tempted and you guys keep tagging me. So let me know if I should try and find the groovy wobble. Should we see what it's all about? Or are we just done with the wobble bubbles? I don't know. I kind of had, I didn't kind of, I had a lot of fun with the soda stream video. And so it was just kind of fun to like go back and retest something that uh, I had not tested in a million years. So let me know, let me know all you guys' thoughts and opinions about everything we've talked about here today in the comments down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. And until I see you guys again, I love y'all so, so much. And uh, I will see you guys probably on Monday. Anyway, I love y'all. Bye.